tonight it's Saturday night at the Stokes house and we are cooking steak steaks good steaks too good steaks and Mike's gonna show us how to do it in a cast iron pot he um, does it pretty well and we'll cook them in the skillet and then he'll throw that in the oven for a few minutes and it is delicious so I'm really gonna give it over to him tonight because he is the meat cooker I cook the meat around here yay Hey Kevin, how's it going? Going pretty good, going pretty good. We need to get some steaks to put on the show tonight. Alright, sounds good. Anything particular? We want to get some, um, some, some of the... Yeah. yeah. Some of the... <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, some of those tenderloins. Um, Alright, about how many did y'all need? We want to get three small ones. Three small ones. All the smaller ones that you see. Yeah, I see. Couple up there. Yeah, just kind of look around here. Yeah. Like that size? Yeah. yeah. That'd, that'd be perfect. Perfect. This is going back here. Ooh, that's perfect. Yeah. There's one way at the front. That one. Thank you. These. And then... get you half that. Yeah. What are you getting? Another Boston butt pork roast, and then Kevin's gonna go cut it for me because it was huge, and there's only two of us. You've come a long way because you used to hate fooling with those things. Well, I still don't touch them. <laughs> gotta have plastic Glo gloves on. <laughs> yeah, I have to have gloves to touch it. Oh wow! Oh. Can you believe that, Kevin? She oh, got a oh, no, indeed. You gotta get in there, get comfortable with it one day. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff it with green onions and garlic, and wow, put some on it, and put it in a pot. And she's wearing work gloves when she does it. I know, that's <laughs> terrible. I do not like touching meat. I could not work with you. <laughs> <laughs> Cajun Cooking TV featuring the Stokes family. Find out what's cooking on every Saturday night, right from Beryl's own kitchen, along with her granddaughter, Addison. Cajun Cooking TV will share recipes, host special local guests, show you how to be a Cajun cooking chef, and much more. To keep up with the show and other antics, please like us on Facebook by searching Cajun Cooking TV. You keep going. Okay. And so anyway, we bought good meat today. So once you get home with it, the first thing you do is you want to take it out of the refrigerator. So I've done let it sit 
and get to room temperature. This is because if you go to cooking cold meat, I mean, it's just not going to cook as well through the center. So you want it to be able to, um, you know, be the same doneness all the way through. So we've been letting this cool a little bit, and um, now I'm going to pat it down. You want to get all the water off of it because that causes a lot of the spatter. I'm going to pat it down with some paper towels. Try to get the excess water off of it. In the meantime, you're going to heat up your cast iron skillet just till it's smoking hot. I mean, smoking hot. Smoking hot. <laughs> and you want to put just a little bit on. If you have cast iron, it's if it's a good seasoned cast iron pot, it's almost um, stick free anyway. But you want just a little bit of oil, and you want one that has a high smoke point. We're using one called some macadamia nut oil here. It's kind of pricey, but we only use it for this. And there's other kinds, but you just want something with a high smoke point. Whoa, it's smoking already. So anyway, like I said, we're gonna pat down this meat while that's heating up. That's heating fast. Then we're gonna season it. I just use salt. We like to use sea salt around here. Salt, <coughs> some of it, black pepper, and I just like a little bit of garlic, granulated garlic powder. On everything. On it. Well, all of my, yeah, pretty much everything. <laughs> Definitely meat and seafood. A little bit of salt. We put a fair dose of stuff on here because it's going to be falling off in the cooking some of it. And a black pepper. Fresh ground is really nice, but any kind of a do. You got smoke point going here. Smoke point going, it's hot. Hang on, I have not prepared myself with a. Uh... I'm sorry about my. Well, we were talking about roadkill. Like... Well, y'all need to keep your eyes open for roadkill, and you want it fresh. You don't want any that's, that's been out there a long time, like a fresh kill. So you need to be on the lookout for somebody to run over something? Yeah, say, so, oh man, if you see somebody run over something, slam on your brakes. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday when we were coming home, there was a skunk smell that we always have. <laughs> Gross. I don't believe we want to eat skunk, but no. possum, rabbit. People eat raccoon back in Springfield. That they do. I yeah. Really think squirrel eats that squirrels. animal abuse. Oh yeah, of course. But you, you need several squirrel to Rabbit. make a meal. Rabbit. You know how it's child abuse? That's what? animal abuse. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it's not when you eat it because you're hungry. Like if eat you eat vegetables, like cheese. You need protein. When's the last time you, you ate a vegetable, about Addison? Protein. Yeah. When was the last time you? Huh. Yeah, there's there were um, there was vegetables and um the gumbo. In the gumbo. One one bit of <laughs> an onion. <laughs> That's not a vegetable. Guys, you not kill animals for no reason. Can't... Well, well, are you gonna eat some broccoli tonight? If we make broccoli rice. No. I eat carrot to souffle. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's loaded with sugar. No, it's not. It is. Whenever. You what do you like, it. carrots? Then. Let me see you eat some mushed carrots. <laughs> okay. Bless it. We'll get you a jar of um, mushed carrots. Okay, I think we're gonna go to cooking. Hopefully, it's hot enough. Uh-huh. Yeah, for some small ones. Okay. I'm gonna just put this over it. And then what we want to do is brown them, get them caramelized, seared on all sides. So I'm gonna let it go for a couple of minutes. Actually I need to go get my watch. By the time I'll do them about two or three minutes on each side. Cajun Cooking TV featuring the Stokes family. Find out what's cooking on every Saturday night 
right from Beryl's own kitchen along with her granddaughter, Addison. Cajun Cooking TV will share recipes, host special local guests, show you how to be a Cajun cooking chef, and much more. To keep up with our daily antics, please follow us on Facebook by searching Cajun Cooking TV. I'm going to check these things. Whoa! Oh, that looks good. That's perfect. We're going to turn these over and do the other side for about the same length of time. How long did we on that side, Beryl? Maybe a minute. You don't have a clue, do you? I, I really don't. I understand. Well, I mean, look, this camera had 29 minutes. I mean, 28 minutes, and now it says 29. So, I'm closing it. What's that primer for? The baked potatoes. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I've got some of our fine Dixie China here to you know, set my tongs on. It's a new pattern, too. Brand new pattern from the fine folks at Dixie. <laughs> Here's what you're looking for. This thing gets hot. Hot, 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 and fast. Because you're going to want to let your steak sit for about five or ten minutes when you take them out. You don't want to dig right in. You can't find things out with 500 degree oven. You want to use an oven mitt and a um, whatever you call these things. What do you call these things? What? Hot holes. Hot holes. Double up. Double up. Okay. So these steaks look beautiful. If I had my camera in my pocket, I'd take a picture of them for you. Hold on. Ah! Camera to the rescue. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, Brittany. Come on, I got mushrooms to cook. And we're getting ready to throw down. Cajun Cooking TV, featuring the Stokes family. Find out what's cooking on every Saturday night. Cajun Cooking TV will share recipes, host special local guests, show you how to be a Cajun cooking chef, and much more. To keep up with the show and other antics, please like us on Facebook by searching Cajun Cooking TV. Thanks for watching Cajun Cooking TV. Nanny Patsy. <laughs> okay, now for the moment of truth. Can't kind of see if these things are done well enough. That one probably is because it's thinner than the others. Let's see what the. I can't see. That's done. For us, that's perfect. Perfect for us. But if someone likes it red. They probably wouldn't even put it in the oven at all. Exactly, exactly. Now, if you want rare, just, just do the pan part. Get it this color all around. The rare is gonna be ready to eat. We like ours with no blood in the middle. That's a little well, juicy. Yeah, but anyway, it's real good to dip bread in. If you got sliced bread, even though the stuff's not good for you, most people have it, we do too. Put you a piece of bread in there, wrap it around and eat it better than the steak. I guarantee you. Do that again. I guarantee you. <laughs> well, Barrel won't cook us no lunch on Saturdays, so here we are. At the Route 61 to get fed. Don't cook on Saturday lunch. Sure don't. Hi, how y'all doing? I'm 
Shay. Hi, I'm Mike. <laughs> How you doing, Mike? I'm terrific. <laughs> Thank you. Now tell the folks where we went to eat today. We went to Route 61 here in Baton Rouge for lunch today. The barrel's not going to cook you any lunch on Saturday. No. No lunch. No lunch for us on Saturday. So we went to Route 61, and um, I got a seafood platter, which is really pretty giant for lunchtime. But being the shrewd, clever woman the barrel is, what we do is we get that seafood platter, and she gets a, an entree. And um, we have enough left over for a whole nother meal. So we'll be having a leftover lunch for, from today. We'll be having another seafood platter at home tomorrow. Would you like to be on our show? We are in search of local food specialty vendors who are Cajun certified, who would like to join us on our show and show us their food, tell us their story, or just have fun with us. So give us a shout on Facebook at Cajun Cooking TV or go to our website and send us a message at CajunCookingTV.com. We're looking for you. No, whenever you're ready. No, then you have me doing this right quick. Okay. Well. Go. <laughs> it's on? Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> you already got you did. <laughs> okay, so first, we put this in here. No, we don't. And then we um, put this in there, and then we put all of these in here. We mix it all together with this. No. And then. After, you get some already made, freshly made whipping cream. <laughs> you put it in here. No! And then you put it back in here. And then you get some um, Hershey syrup. Put it in here. Just do it in your mouth. Or you can put it in your mouth. Either way. Okay, let's mix it all together. <laughs> and then you eat it or drink it. You can melt it. In. <laughs> it's really yummy, guys. And part of set, please, Mom. Include yourself. Okay. <laughs> it's dessert time at the Stokes house. We normally have ice cream, but tonight we're having strawberry shortcake. And Nanny Patsy, thank you, Nanny Patsy, gave us a little kitchen gadget in order to make some um, homemade whipped cream. This is from Pampered Chef comes with some instructions in any language you wish. Not too long. So we'll we'll pick the English one. What? And Why do you always look at me? So it has two parts. The looks like a science project, like a cylinder, and then the little pump that has something on it. And so we got some heavy whipping cream. Addison, can you stop mocking me and put it in here? Sure. Up to you the line. Not mark me. Okay, so there's a line. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty hard to see. Oh my gosh. Like liquid, but not liquid. It's, it's just thick milk. Okay. And it called for... for Four powdered sugar. But since we used all the powdered sugar on the king cake, I got my trusty stevia out and I looked up the conversion. So I'm going to put six drops. It's very potent, so don't go overboard. Six. Want me to do it? Six. Good job. And we mix it all together and then we drink it. I'm just kidding. So, we're gonna put this in here. You gotta lift this up. Put it down in there. And you can't be lifting it up. You gotta do it holding it down like that. So, pump it up and down, and it's gonna make whipped cream, just like in the can. Why don't you see how this 
is working. I'm gonna break it. <laughs> it's actually getting pretty thick. It's getting thicker. It's hard to see because I. Okay. Well, I'll be putting some strawberries in our mini cups here. Papa, you want some? Did you want some? A sliver. Okay. Can I have one strawberry? One? Yeah. Like less than that? No, no, like. Yeah, no, I'm, I don't want one. I don't want a... Um, one slice? No, I just want like this to eat right now. Oh. <laughs> Duh. Duh, Momo. <laughs> Duh, Momo. <laughs> say, say, Duh, Momo. Duh. Cooking TV will feature local recipes and Cajun cooking made easy with special guests from our family to yours. Join us on WLFT Me TV. Um, I forgot. Mama's sitting over there laid up on the couch. Guys, this is, these are my <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm over y'all. I'm over you, so bye. We can make the whipped cream already? It's kind of hard. Uh oh. Uh, what? She broke it. Keep going. I don't know. What's the deal? It says pump the handle until the contents reach desired consistency. Is this the desired consistency? I don't know. No. It's not fat, I think. That's cool fat right there. I can't have it in this. No different than out the can. Come on. I'm ready to eat my strawberry. into my brain and I, I'm also cross-eyed. Boy, you have some talents, <laughs> don't you? I can make my pinky toe say hi. You want to see it? Not while we're cooking, thank you though. <laughs> okay, Nanny Patsy. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> I'm returning this to <laughs> the giver. Wait, wait, look. What? It's actually getting thin. Look on this side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now I need some muscle in there. Come on. Don't raise in your I'm ball. actually the strongest in the family, so. I mean, do I look okay? No. Oh, it's getting there. Pause it, Dad. He okay. Did. <laughs> Is he killing me? No. No, he's not. Let's get it, Alex, get it! I want the whipped cream! Y'all take it too dang long! Ah, it's leaking, it's leaking! I'm too... Make whipped cream! Make your butt! It actually works! See, y'all needed a real chef in here. It is some muscle, that's for sure. There's no sugar in that. At all? It's not sweet. Ooh, not at all. A little bit. I got to put stevia. <laughs> the only reason somebody would want that gadget <laughs> would be after the apocalypse. <laughs> and you don't have electricity. And there's no yeah. electricity. Because all you do is pour that stuff in a bowl, get a blender, and it's okay. done. And it's done. Look. Oh, that's pretty good, though. Yeah, give me that kind. Hang on to that in case the we don't have electricity. SHF, then we'll be prepared. Wait, I want some of mine. Give it to me. <laughs> she needs to go to bed. She does. We're not doing Murdoch anymore tonight. Bedtime. No, we are. We're finishing that one. I want to see what happens. No. Okay. Give Let's me see. the bottle. Oh, oh my goodness. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> my neck's broken. Thank you guys, we've had fun tonight.
cooking jambalaya and strawberry shortcake. So check out our recipes, funny videos of this one, and <laughs> visit our website at CajunCookingTV.com. I'm Daryl Addison, Mike behind the camera. And, and Alex, Alex the muscle. Alex was our muscle. <laughs> that was being filmed. Good night. Bye. Bye. Are you a fan of Cajun Cooking TV? Check out our cookbook available called Cajun Cooking Made Easy. Enjoy our full recipes, instructions, links on how-to videos, and much more. Cajun Cooking Made Easy. Order your copy today on our website at CajunCookingTV.com. Get yours for only $9.95 and is personally signed by Cajun Cooking Barrel Stokes. Thanks for joining us at Cajun Cooking TV. Oh, okay. Well, we thank you for joining us on Cajun Cooking TV. I'm Beryl, this is Mike, and we are cooking at the Stokes House on Saturday night. We hope you enjoyed the show. We will see you next time. And check them out, Scouts. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> if you want any of our recipes and accompanying videos, go to our website. It's CajunCookingTV.com. We have recipes, videos, and you can also order our fabulous cookbook, Cajun Cooking Made Easy. I love this fella. <laughs> see you next time. Bye. Kick him off. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. Sounded good at the time.